guys. So this is my, um, the first mystery box I received from Julep in December. Um, so for those of you who don't know, in December, about the week, the week before Christmas, Julep was sending out offers. I think it was called like the five days of Christmas. And each, each day they had a new offer for, I don't know, you got it through email. So I don't know if it was for the Julep Mavens or for their subscribers or just for the email signups. I don't know, but they were just sending out those, whoever gets emails from Julep's got these emails. And on one of the five days of Christmas, there was a mystery box that you could purchase for $20 and it was going to be sent to you. And the value of your mystery box would be, could be anywhere between 60 and $200. So I bought two mystery boxes and one of them I got on the 24th of December. I remember because it was Christmas Eve and the other box, my second mystery box from December, I didn't receive until probably late January, early February. I'll explain why in my second mystery box video. I actually ended up getting four because it is February 17th today as I make this video. And since that December, they've offered another julep like mystery box and I bought two of those. Long story, but um, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. <laughs> Anywho, if you wanna see my other mystery boxes, just watch my videos, they should be posted also. So yeah, let me just get right into it and show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got is this Julep Crystal File. Super excited that I got this. Love it. You can never have too many files because it's not like cosmetics. They don't go bad. There's no expiration date and you're always going to need a new one at some point. You know, they don't last forever. So it's always nice to get those. And the value on this is $12. I also got three polishes in my mystery box. The first one is Lucy and it is a deep, I love this color. It's like the deepest dark Bordeaux you can imagine. It almost looks like brown when I'm looking at it in the dark because it's so, or you know, looking at it not in direct light because it's so dark, but it's not. It's definitely a deep Bordeaux color. See what right there when the light's like shining through it, it looks red. In person, it, it more looks like, like that looks like a deep dark red like I said the deepest darkest Bordeaux color you can imagine you can't even see it like right there barely so 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 pretty and this color if I mentioned it is Lucy it's upside down and $14 value on the nail polish nail polishes the second color I got is called Salma I'm wondering if I named it after Salma Hayek and it's the prettiest like red you can imagine. I don't want to say it's like a Crayola red, like just a basic red, because it, it's not. It definitely has more life to it than that. It reminds me of like when you're in a grocery store and you see like the gorgeous like red, you know, like peppers. It looks like that. It's like the almost like an orange hint somewhere deep down in this color. It's super, super pretty. Bright, spicy red, I guess if you could say. Maybe I just think it's spicy. The Selma name is like throwing me off because you know, Selma Hike is so flipping hot. So I love that color. The third color I got is Blake and it's like a mellow yellow cream color. Very opaque, no shimmer. My favorite types of colors, no shimmer. Mix it up, sorry. It was separating a little bit. Very, very pretty color. And if you watch my other video in, from my January julep maven box which i actually just made before i made this video i also received a blake color and you're probably wondering like why did you because i received this mystery box like i said uh christmas eve and then my january boho glam box had blake in it so i could have switched it and got another got like another box you know because i had like the five style profiles for january but you know i really like this yellow color i've been looking for a yellow like opaque color like this for a while and those of you who are familiar with Julep, you know that the actual the amount of product you get is very small if you compare it to like an OPI, OPI polish or um, an SE polish. So I figure, you know, nail polish doesn't go bad. If anything, it gets thick and you can put some nail polish thinner in there. So that's why I was okay getting two. Because like I said, I got this one first in my mystery box and then I still chose to get another one in my January regular subscription box. So yeah, got that also. And so the value of all of these was $42 plus the $12 for the file. So just so you guys can keep up with the prices of everything. 
And then the fifth product I got was this pout. They call it the pout popper or something like that. It's called pout plump. I don't know. They call it something. But it's just one of their like pumping or plumping lip glosses. And I've heard some people say in videos that it's super, bur it burns their lips. I haven't had that problem with their pout, whatever they call them, pout plumpers. I mean, I feel kind of a little slightest bit of tingling. Maybe I'm just like, my lips are like desensitized. I don't know, but I really didn't have any burning or irritation at all. So this color is an arousal. I don't know why my camera does not focus, but it does say arousal, I promise. And it's kind of um, a rosy brown, very shimmery. I'm trying to see if the lighting, you see it right there? Sorry, my, that's better. Really pretty. And the value on that is $18. And the last two products I got were mini sizes of the glycolic hand scrub, which I already have full size from them, but it's okay because you know you can always use hand scrub. This one would be good travel size. And then the second product was the age defying hand brightener, which I believe I also have from them. And so yeah. And I calculated the values of these sizes based on the value of the full size because these are one ounce each. And it was at $10.66. So $10.66 value on each of these. So, you know, 21 something. You can tell I would never be a good prices right girl. I keep stuttering. So the total value of this mystery box was $81.32. Really got a good bang for my buck. I didn't get like the $200 prize, you know, because some boxes were worth up to $200. But for $20, I feel like I got a really good amount of product back. So yeah. Okay, so if you keep on, if you still want to see what I got in my other mystery boxes, keep watching because I'm going to be making those videos right now. Thanks for watching, guys.